Oh. Whoops. Betsy might be here already. Let's take a look and... Halt. Citizens, what noble errand brings you? Uh, we're following a uh, god to read books. Is Kaya here? We need him for something. Captain Kaya? He's on duty in Jean's office. Huh? Why is he in Jean's office? The Windbloom Festival celebrations have always been hosted by the Knights of Favonius. During the festivities, Master Jean personally goes out on patrol. Oh, but only, only during the festival. It's just sort of a symbol thing. Uh, whatever it is when it's the royal family, that's all it is. It's not actually uh, we're doing anything. Captain Kaya takes over her administrative duties during that period. Haha, <laughs> he has to do all the paperwork. Huh. Is that right? But he has poetry homework. How, how can he do his poetry homework if he needs to do paperwork? He's in Jean's office. Supposedly. Yep, there he is. Doing paperwork. Hi, Kaya. Kaya! Traveler, put and on. Come here. here. <laughs> I was just thinking about you two. And now, here you are. How fortuitous. Yeah, you're gonna send us off to do things. Kaya, did you do your homework? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I haven't even started writing it yet. Le gasp. Hmm, students that don't hand in their homework on time aren't exactly model students now, are they? Oh, Venti. And what excuse does Kaya have for not handing in his homework? Doing his actual job. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm helping Master Jean take care of various matters. Squiggly lines on paper. Got it. Mondstadt is a hive of activity over the festive period. Accordingly, there's a multitude of things that need sorting. <sighs> I've been at it for a good while now. <laughs> Paperwork sucks. Traveler, can I ask for a favor? And there it is. I have a drinking buddy that wants me to help him with something. But I'm much too busy. Can I entrust this matter to you? Is the drinking buddy Venti? Because I feel like it's Venti. A drinking buddy? A friend you met at the tavern? That's not you. That's right. I often go to the tavern when not on duty. Somehow, I seem to have made quite a few acquaintances that way. Okay, so it's not Venti. Darn. His name is Nimrod. He's never far from the tavern. He should be free right now. Ugh. Nimrod? Really? We gotta go help Nimrod? Come on. Thanks for the help. I'd better stay behind and get started on my homework. Jules from Liyue. Come take a look. Alright. There he is. Nimrod. Hey. Hey, Nimrod. Uh, what should I do? You must be Nimrod. Kaya mentioned there was something you wanted him to take care of. He's busy right now, but we can help. Uh, huh? Oh, Traveler. I didn't realize it was you. Yeah, you're a little drunk, Nimrod. We know. Uh, it's like this. I'm planning to give a gift to my wife for the Windbloom Festival, and I wanted my drinking buddy Kaya to come up with a gift idea. Okay, that sounds like a... Well, I mean, Kaya is pretty good at coming up with gifts. These two... These two are not good at coming up with gifts. This is gonna end badly. Uh, I... I'm afraid I'm a bit of a drunkard. I'm nearly always in the tavern. My wife hates me drinking, so we're constantly arguing. Well, yeah, drinking is bad, buddy. You know... The nun is also pretty mad at you about this too. I'm pretty sure we're still getting bribed by her by her and by you to be like, oh yeah, he's not drinking. Oh yeah, 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 he's still drinking. Whoops. Another day, another drunkard. Yup. Hey Venti, 
You, do you know how to help with this? I can empathize. <laughs> I don't mind a drink or two myself. No. Then again, and I'm not one to judge, but by the looks of your drinking habits... Hmm. They're a little excessive. I... no, she's right, of course. I feel like I have to make it up to her. Uh, Traveler, can you help me gather some materials? I want to make a gift for her myself. Sure, we probably already have them. I should have made preparations in advance, but I've barely been sober these last few days. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, the celebrations had already hey, begun. Diana. Now I'll never have time to finish it by myself. You procrastinated. You blacked out for three, a few days? Really? Really, Nimrod? I'm doing good, Zayama. I'm just realizing how much of a drunk Nimrod is. Yeesh. This and guy catching is a up mess. on the festival. Uh, single folks in Mondstadt would never dare get others to help them during the festive period. It's lucky you're already married, Nimrod. <laughs> wow, it's lucky you're married. Uh huh. You're telling me. <sighs> I'm. Sorry, here I am making a fool of myself in front of all of you. Maybe if you stopped drinking so much, this wouldn't happen all the time. Hey, Queen! Welcome to the stream! Uh, what's done is done. Spit it out then, how can we help? I'm going to look for wood in the city. And we'll need plants to place inside. Those only grow in the wild. Could I ask you to retrieve them? Lamp grass. Small lamp grass and wood. I want to make her a little wooden house with glowing flowers Aww, and that sounds uh, cute. handmade furniture inside. Yeah, it's like Nimrod, you need to cut the drinking by like a lot. Because like it's a sweet gift, as you said, but his poor wife has to deal with him being this drunk all the time. Like, he was blackout drunk for so many days, he didn't realize the festival had started. It's... that's a problem. Aww, such a thoughtful gift! A token of my love. <laughs> Back when I'd only just gotten to know her, I used to make handmade gifts for her all the time. <sighs> she loved them. She even used to say that... Uh... oh... <clears throat> excuse me. Let's put the past aside for the moment. Thank you all for your help. Yeah, I think you should just make her more handmade gifts and less drinking. Maybe, maybe if you focus on making things, you would be less of a drunk. Lucky you came across such kind-hearted assistance, hmm? Yeah, it's like, it's like he used to. It's like you need to make more now. You, you. You should still be making her gifts, man. It's a wonder she hasn't left you for that one guy she talks to every day about trying to get a discount. Like, I know which one of the NPCs is his wife, and it's like, she could do better. Alright, let's go and find those materials! But okay, Nimrod, I have the stuff. I'm positive I have uh, stuff. Thank you, thank you so much. Remember, a gift I will. Uh, I do hope she likes my gift, though. Everyone likes a gift given with love. Don't worry. Make it a good one. Don't go with- Uh, I haven't heard Kaya's poem yet, because this is the Keep Us Busy quest. Then, yeah, we're about to go back to Kaya, and hopefully he'll have his poem done. His homework. Oh, I was hoping it would be like, I don't know, cute or good or something. I don't know what I expected, but I'm not surprised it's an hilarious one. Oh, goody. See, I expect him to do like something swarmy, but I'm guessing maybe it's cheesy? Yeah, I don't know which direction, but I guess I'm about to hear it. Hear what he's got for a poem. Let's laugh at Kaya's poem. That should be fun. We're back! Kaya, have you finished? 
time to hand in your homework. Welcome back. I'm just finishing up. Go, go, go! Hand it in, hand it in! We all want to read it and judge you. All right, all right. Now then, no hurting my feelings. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> hey, Heroic! Welcome to the stream. We're reading Kaya's poem. Kind of bard. What grade did he get? Kaya, may I read this out loud? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's always a dangerous request. Feel free. Oh, here uh -uh. we go. Me, Maluya, means I love you in the language of the Hilly Churls. Yeah. Eh? Huh? That's it? That's it. So, like, a valentine? You just wrote a really dumb valentine? That's it? <laughs> Same poem, huh? Coherent and to the point. Plus, the length seems about right. I don't think it was a haiku, so no. <laughs> what? Are you writing a hilly trillion phrase book? Wow, Paimon. Oh, okay. Yeah, as for the romance. <laughs> a love poem has to convey the style of its author, you know? You speak hilly troll? Is that, is that all we're supposed to get from this? I'm not sure you took the exercise seriously. No, no, you did not. <laughs> yeah, I'm Wait. like, it's... So we're just gonna gloss over the fact that Kaya can speak hilly trillion? Weird. Kaya can do a lot of weird things, Paimon. That's not the weirdest thing. He's friends with, like, the thieves from the the treasure hunters, treasure hoarders. He's friends with one of them. He's friends with the drunk at the bar. Kaya's plenty weird. But, yeah, it's a funny one, but <laughs> Don't he could underestimate the hidden knowledge of the Knights of Favonius cavalry captain. All right then, time to collect the next student's homework. Please tell me it's Bennett's. I want to read Bennett's poem. Huh? I just caught sight of a suspicious figure. I must go and investigate. Traveler, I have another small task for you. But 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 Bennett's poem. I want to go read Bennett's poem, man. He tried so hard. I'm positive. The church has applied to us for a hunting license. Please take these official documents to the cathedral. Church wants to go hunting? Uh, <sighs> Running the next errands part? again. Okay, then I'm gonna go do other things. Because that sort of bummed me out. I was I was waiting for Bennett's poem to be the next on the list. Cause I was just so happy to see him there at the beginning anyway. Yeah, I wanna know who he's writing a poem for. It's like, oh, baby has first crush. We have to help him. Yeah, wanna be nosy. It's just like, I wanna help him. He feels like everything goes badly, but he's at least trying to write a poem for his crush, and so he at least feels like it's not gonna go that badly admitting his crush, hopefully. And so I just wanna support him and his crush. And hope it goes well. Anything the knights can do for you? Lisa, we need to establish some ground rules. <sighs> if we do end up apprehending any drunken troublemakers, no electrocutions, okay? <laughs> Lisa, you can't go torturing people. <laughs> They're here for the festival. Besides Venti, who am I excited for? I'd say Klee would be the next one, cause I'm not gonna pull Child's banner if I'm focusing all my effort on Venti's. I'm gonna, after Venti, save up, and I guess Klee, cause I don't need another ice character, so whenever the new ice one comes out, I'll probably be skipping her. Even though I have D Luke, yeah, because I need her bomb stuff. Oh, Jean, you misunderstand for me. For more damage. That intoxicated fellow you witnessed last time was practically begging me to be shocked. It makes me wonder if some people don't actually quite enjoy getting. Lisa! No! 
Lisa? Thank you, Jean. <sighs> Very well, then. If you insist. Jean! Lisa! Greetings, ladies. <laughs> it's been a while. A while, indeed. <sighs> As you can see, Lisa and I are on duty. Aw, it's Cutie and friends. Uh, did you see any suspicious people on the way here? If you do see anything, report straight to the Knights. Yeah, Lisa Lisa is into some some interesting things and she's not afraid to share apparently. And and then she calls us cutie and I get a little concerned cuz I don't think Traveler is anywhere near that level of interested. Since when do librarians go out on patrol? Since they wanted to hang out with Jean. Rarely, but this is the Windbloom Festival, and they need all hands on deck. Even the humble clerical staff like me. Lisa, humble clerical staff do not wield Electro the way you do. <sighs> Please do not be alarmed. I will keep my eyes on Lisa, especially since she seems to enjoy electrocuting people just to break up a scuffle. Not to mention shocking drunkards until they beg for mercy. Yeah, no. She, that sounds like something she'd enjoy doing. If you don't like it, I can happily refrain. Is that a promise? Good. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reconsider whether I want a librarian on patrol with me. If you keep breaking the rules, you can't keep hanging out with me. That's your punishment. It's not getting to go out on patrol with me. <laughs> I casually ship these two just because... They seem to be fun co-worker lesbians. I never knew being on patrol could be so exciting! Only with these two. Ah. Then talk to Barbara. See how Barbara's doing. Seeing as her sister's outside with her girlfriend right now. Bennett? Oh no, what happened? Are you two okay? Also, I now wonder if Bennett's making the note for Barbara as a thank you note. That's now one of my theories. How could somebody do this? Oh dear, what did they do? Barbara's crying. Huh? What's happened? I... Oh no, is it mean fan mail? Let me. I just came back from the wilderness. As usual, I came by the cathedral to ask the sisters to patch me up. That's when I saw Barbara running out, white as a sheet. She was holding a letter. Can you guess who did this? Uh, well, I need to hear the letter first, then- I've never received a letter like this before. Can I take a look? Clee! Clee! <laughs> I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. <gasps> no? It's not Clee? I just assumed she... She was like, oh, you have a precious. I will hide it for you. Yeah, well, I was not reading it as her being mischievous, as more of her trying to be helpful in thinking it would be a nice thing to protect Barbara's most precious thing. Yeah, her treasures, which are bombs. So, yeah, so it's not Klee. So, okay, I'm not sure who is it. Hmm. Dear Barbara, I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. Huh. Could this be an attempt at intimidation? <laughs> it's awful. Is it a joke? If so, we don't need to worry. But... But... What if it's real? <laughs> Barbara, we need you to calmly tell us what is most precious to you. And then we can check if that thing is buried somewhere or not. There's a map on the back. 
Isn't that out in the wilderness? Oh, goody, a treasure map. Oh, I know where that is. There was a chest under it before. Oh, it is him! Ugh. Fanboy. Damn it. I'm not surprised. We told him to back off. And he goes and does something dumb like this. Albert! Damn it, Albert! Hmm. The thing most precious to you. Hmm. Buried. Huh. That location on the map is familiar. I've definitely been there before. I can't think straight right now. Nothing makes sense. Oh, oh. poor baby. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. The thing most precious to me. Wait. Could it be? Oh, no. Oh, Barbara. Barbara thinks someone murdered Jean. We promise she's okay. She's outside with Lisa. We just saw her. She's not dead, Barbara. It's okay. Barbara! Hey! Slow down! Aha! I got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! Yeah? Uh, Bennett! Hey! <laughs> yeah, she's just Where immediately Bennett, worried. Sajari? Let's catch up with them. She immediately is worried about her sister, which is sweet. What should I get? But also, she's right outside and okay, so you don't need to worry, Barbara. Yeah, I'm like, it, you can't, you can't take out Jean without everyone knowing about it because you have to be the strength of a god. You have to be one of the adeptus slash gods, and or a harbinger. My sister. Slow down. Hi, Rosaria. Now is not the time. Rosaria, I just, I. Calm down. I ran into Jean a moment ago. Lisa was with her. She's fine. <laughs> Rosaria's like, it's okay. She's with Lisa. It's a dull girl power. They'll kick anything's ass. Oh. Really? Are, are you sure? Are you sure she's not buried in a ditch somewhere? It's like, Barbara. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> That letter. Give it to me. Yeah, Detective Rosaria on the Sure. Case. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where that is. Yeah, no, and that picture has the chest under the rock still. I've already picked up that chest, but like... If they're not talking about Jean in the letter, then what are they talking about? Did you really think they buried Jean underground? What a horrible thought! <laughs> So, sister, have you found any leads? Looking at the map, the perpetrator seems to have marked out an area around Dawn Winery. Yep. That's open land, so hiding something there... Hmm... What could it be? Well, let's just go out there and figure it nice out. Nice work! How'd you figure that out so quickly? Although, Dawn Winery? That's not the place we were thinking. Sorry, Bennett tried, but it's not the Thousand's Temple. <sighs> Barbara, rather than letting your imagination get the better of you, stand up and face this head on. She's gonna be like, right, I'm gonna face this. You're right. It's yep. just... <laughs> it's a little scary, right? That's why we're going with you. What do you say? <gasps> oh. <laughs> that, that's very kind. Yeah, we're all gonna kick Albert's ass together. Let's go. And you, sister? Will you be accompanying us? Please join us. Azaria, please join the party. <laughs> Bennett just wandered off. It's like, he charged for the Thousand Wind Temple. He's just gonna be wandering there at nighttime, and we're like, oh, where'd Bennett go? And he's just gonna run into a hilly troll or a ruin guard, and we'll be like, damn it, Bennett, you're supposed to go with a party. No need. I knew straight away there was nothing to worry about. Of course you did. Huh? What does that mean? <sighs> nothing. Get going, then. Barbara, are you feeling a bit better now? Mm-hmm. I... <sighs> I'm okay. That's good. Sorry, that's right. 
Better to know the ways of the enemy than stand here scaring myself. That's right. Let's get moving. Thank you. All of you. Let's get to the location and see what we find. Yep, yep. Go, Barbara, go. Okay, team. Anything the knights can do for you. Go to the winery. But not really. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. I thought the Barbara thing would be quick, and then she got a scary note and was crying. Huh? Why are there treasure orders here? Alright, Albert, what did you do? By the shovel? Yeah. What is this? Hmm. Quick, let's open it! I. I. Oh, interesting. Such an exquisite gift box. What's it doing out here in the wilderness? Venti, I'm sort of distracted by your bangs just defying gravity. Your little pigtails are just floating. Not touching your shoulders, just just floating. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful wind wheel aster wreath, and so many paper stars. Yeah, someone's attention grabbing. Uh, looks like our perpetrator is really just one of Barbara's fans. Yup. There's a note. What does it say? Hmm, let's see. I learned to write poetry at Venti's class. Thank you, Venti, for this idea. So sorry to get your attention this way. Please accept this wind bloom as a sign of my sincere admiration for your virtue and sweetness. Yep, that's Albert. Ha! Huh. So it's fraudulent intimidation then? No. Be it for the gods or that special someone. Flowers should be offered in utmost sincerity. It's the most important ceremony of the Windbloom Festival. But but it shouldn't be a treasure hump th hunt that makes Barbara cry. Flowers of love and blessings sent on such a special occasion. No effort should be spared to make it spectacular. Behind the questionable methodology, here we have a meticulously thought out and heartfelt gift. No, no, Albert was just dumb. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 he he went through a lot of effort. Great. He went through a lot of effort to scare Barbara. Uh, laying it on a little thick, aren't we? Still seems like someone with a few screws loose to Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I think I have a suspect in mind who fits that description. Albert. Who? Who? Albert. Shh. No telling now. <laughs> I'd like Paimon to make a few guesses. If she doesn't guess Albert, I don't know who she could probably, uh, possibly think of. You're so annoying! Oh, is that it? To be continued in part two. Blah blah blah, complete. Got my primo gym. He's just gonna be wandering there at nighttime, and we're like, oh, where'd Bennett go? And he's just gonna run into a hilly troll or a ruin guard, and we'll be like, damn it, Bennett, you're supposed to go with a party!